safety is of utmost importance for any electrician, beyond proper maintenance of tools, wearing the right clothing, and closely adhering to a code of conduct. It's also important to use right ladder for electrical work. A good ladder for electrical work will allow you to reach high places safely, will also ensure your safety with a suitable locking mechanism, non-conductive construction, and compatibility with the task at hand, among other factors. In this video you will find the best ladders for electrical work. Without further ado, let's get started. Today we're going to demo the fiberglass select step. Like a lot of our other multi-purpose ladders, there are only two things to remember to make the fiberglass select step work. The rubber pad here on the comfort step allows you to change the shape of the ladder. Always make sure when you're using the fiberglass select step that that's pushed down all the way so that that's locked into place and it's safe to climb. The only other thing to operate on the ladder are the rock locks. Rock locks on one side, you'll have one on the right, one on the left. Just squeeze that down at the bottom to unlock it, squeeze it here at the top to relock it. Always make sure that those are fully seated and locked into place. On the back side, something unique that you might not have seen before is called the select grip. The select grip, we're going to pull towards us and just a turn of 90 degrees unlocks metal pins on both the right and the left and now we can adjust the back side of the ladder. Again, when you're rotating that around, always make sure that those pins are visible, locked into place and safe for you to climb. We're gonna operate the ladder by unlocking the rock locks. Lean the ladder to one side, which allows us to grow these legs longer or shorter to achieve the height that you might need. Again, squeeze the top of the rock lock to make sure those are fully seated and locked into place. We're gonna rotate the select grip and we do the same thing on this opposite side. Always make sure that these metal pins are showing and that the select grip is parallel with this brace. If everything's all locked into place, good to go. The fiberglass select step is a great choice for those of you working around electricity. When you're using it in this stepladder configuration, remember that the comfort step not only is the most comfortable place for you to stand on the ladder, but it is the highest place for you to stand. Of course, we'll warn you again, don't stand any higher than this, and certainly don't ever stand on the top cap of any ladder. When you're using the ladder, in a staircase configuration, we're gonna simply choose a different one foot interval here on this back side. When you're climbing the ladder, either in this staircase application or in the step ladder configuration, remember that the comfort step is always the highest place for you to climb. When you're using the ladder in what we call the 90 degree position, meaning that the closer you are to your work, you're able to climb up this one side and be just about square so you're next to the wall, then this configuration will remind you that now this rung is the highest standing position. We don't want you to climb any higher than this when the ladder's in the 90 degree angle. To reverse the process, we'll bring the ladder down. Same thing with the rock locks. To its stored position. To carry the select step, we just turn it parallel to the ground. Two-handed method is always the best way to carry it. Or if you want to take advantage of the wheels that are pre-installed, you can tilt the ladder back and this rubberized grip allows you to do that in comfort, wheel it to your next job. The fiberglass select step is also prepared with a top cap that will receive an accessory called an air deck. Louisville Ladder's advanced technology brings you the cross-step ladder. It combines a shelf and stepladder for a two-in-one combination made to take on multiple placement locations. This patent-pending ladder is available in 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 feet. It carries a Type 1A duty rating with load capacities of 300 pounds. Regular stepladders shouldn't be leaned against a wall, but the cross-step's shelf design with its unique top features and innovative locking mechanism allows for positioning against a wall, building, or pole. When unlocked, this shelf ladder now sets up as a step ladder. The angles of the step ladder allow the capability to get in closer to the work area. 
The cross step comes with a pro top with magnet and V shape. It allows quick and easy access to your tools and workspace. It also provides a stable working area when being used. The V-shaped top allows the ladder to be placed on corners and poles. The non-marring rubber tread protects the work surface and creates a non-slip grip when placed on buildings, walls, and inside corners. The H-bracing feature is available on the 8, 10, and 12-foot models to provide more stability when working at higher heights. This series comes equipped with Louisville Ladder's patented shocks and the new Raptor boot. This slip-resistant heavy-duty tread is bonded to the boot so it increases the stability of the ladder and the upper boot protects the fiberglass railing. Other important safety features of the Crossstep series include spreader braces on the inside for protection during transport. Every step has a slip-resistant treading, heavy-duty reinforcements, and double rivets. Wide back braces along every step provide rigidity for the ladder. Hi, this is Kenyon here to demonstrate the velocity by Little Giant Ladder Systems. You'll notice that there are really only two things that you'll need to remember to make this ladder operate. The hinge creates the shape of the ladder. Squeeze that in with the palm of the hand. I like to grip the hinge plates with my fingertips. Just gives me a little bit of extra leverage. One on the right, one on the left. Now the hinge is unlocked. I can either bring this to its storage position or open it up as an A-frame, or again, open it up as an extension ladder. And then you'll see and hear, making sure that those hinges are fully locked into place. The only other operation are the rock locks. The rock locks are gonna create the length or the height of the ladder. Unlocking these by pressure down at the bottom of the rock lock now allows you to bring this ladder to different heights. You can bring that to another locked position. Notice that to unlock, even pressure down here at the bottom. To relock, even pressure up here towards the top. Again, make sure that these rock locks, both the one on the right and the one on the left, that they're fully seated and locked into place. To put this step ladder into different configurations, we're gonna unlock the rock lock to bring it into what's called the 90 degree position. For different sizes of velocity ladders, the combination of these rungs on this side compared to the rungs on this side might be a little bit different. Always make sure that you're at least 90 degrees or greater. Putting it anything less than that just wouldn't be safe for you to climb on. To put it in what's called the staircase position, we'll do exactly the same thing, whether it's now a ramp, a driveway, staircases, Again, it's just the combination of the one foot intervals on this side versus the one foot intervals on the opposite side. To bring the ladder into its extension ladder position, we'll do exactly the same thing, just in a different position. Unlock the hinge. Have enough room either inside or outside to lay this ladder down. And now we can extend the legs. Making sure that the rock locks are fully seated, we're going to extend the leg to our desired height. When you're setting your ladder up in the extension ladder position, it's a good idea for you to rest the bottom of the extension ladder against a hard surface. That could be the foundation or the wall that you're leaning the ladder against. That's gonna give you the balance and the leverage that you'll need. Also, we'll recommend that you use the wheels will always be at the top of the extension ladder. Hand over hand, always lean the ladder at a 75 degree angle. That's a four to one ratio, meaning four feet vertical means your ladder should be one foot away at the bottom. That's a good rule of thumb for safety. That's gonna keep your ladder in the correct position. To bring the ladder down from its extension ladder position, we'll just reverse the steps. Hand over hand, Bring it down to the floor or to the ground. Turn the ladder over 180 degrees so you're facing the rungs. And then unlock the rock locks, bringing these rails down to their stored position. To carry your velocity, we're simply gonna put our shoulder down underneath the rung 
lifting with our other hand. That's a great for, way for you to carry without straining your back or your legs. If you want to take, take advantage of these wheels in its stored position, we could lean the ladder back and away you go. Of course, a couple of quick reminders, always choose the right ladder for the job, set it up correctly, and maintain three points of contact when you're working from the ladder and climbing the ladder. This is the Velocity by Little Giant Ladder System. Available on these Type 1A fiberglass extension ladders with a heavy industrial duty rating of 300 pounds and in lengths available from 20 to 32 feet. ProTop, an exclusive Louisville ladder design, is a multifunctional top that is designed to make the work easier for electrical utility, heavy construction, and residential jobs. ProTop features include the integrated bumper, a soft, non-marking, non-marring rubber tread that protects the work surface. A pole grip with V-shaped design and rubber tread makes it ideal for working against poles or trees. The tool slots provide the option for lashing the ladder to the pole or tree. The corner grip V-shaped design provides greater stability on corners. A wider design provides greater stability and 700% more contact area on flat surfaces. And a non-conductive molded work tray with convenient handyman's tool slots. These extension ladders featuring the Pro Top are equipped with the exclusive Rung Lock Quick Latch, a one-finger operation that makes it a quick and easy locking method for securing sections when the ladder is extended. These extension ladders also have D-shaped rungs, tempered aluminum rungs which are hydraulically double crimped to the side rails and serrated on the top for a slip resistant surface. D-shape also provides greater standing area than round grounds. The full swivel safety shoe can be used with tread down or in spike position. Two extra heavy duty outside slide guides secured to the top of the base section with four rivets per guide provide maximum strength and a stop on the fly section prevents overextending. Pro Top Fiberglass Extension Ladders, exclusively from Louisville Ladder. Today we're going to demo the Skyscraper. The Skyscraper, you can see, is a really large version of our multi-purpose ladders, although it's only designed to be the A-frame configuration. I'm going to walk you through it a little bit slower than I usually do in demos, but in the storage position, we're going to unlock these lock tabs and lengthen one side at a time. Make sure that these lock tabs are fully seated or locked into place. Then I'll need to flip the ladder over and do the same thing on the opposite side. And make it the height or the length that you need. When choosing which size to make the ladder, always make sure that these lock tabs are inserted completely so it's safe and good to go. If you're in a warehouse situation and you happen to be alone, setting it up should use a wall or where the foundation of the building and the wall come together, right in that corner. But if you're lucky enough to have a second person, have them foot this at the bottom for you. We'll have Manny foot it there at the bottom, giving me more ballast. Bringing up into its vertical position and then this half pulling towards me until the hinge completely locks so it's safe and good to climb. Skyscraper is designed 
with rungs on both sides of the ladder. It does carry an ANSI rating of 300 pounds, and that's on each side at the same time. So it really is designed for two people. You could, in some situations, be able to offset one side a little bit shorter or a little bit longer than the other to offset for unlevel ground, whether it's a loading dock or even staircases. So the skyscraper will do that, similar to other little giant multi-purpose ladders. To bring the skyscraper down, we're gonna reverse the process. If you have a second or even third person, again, they can control the weight or the speed as you're hand over hand bringing it towards yourself. Unlocking the hinge and folding the ladder up. Now, this hinge, unlike other multi-purpose ladders made by Little Giant, this hinge does not lock into this position. So when carrying the ladder, Manny's gonna carry that section while I carry this, but always take care that you know that those legs might come apart, might become a pinch point as you're carrying the ladder. Always do it with two people with two hands. Couple of quick reminders here. Always choose the right ladder for the job, set it up correctly, maintain three points of contact when you're climbing both up and down any ladder. This is the Skyscraper by Little Giant Ladder Systems. Safety step's pretty simple to operate. It comes down to the hinge locks. By depressing both the right and the left, and remember that these are independent from each other, with even pressure, that will unlock this hinge mechanism, and now we can rotate this bar out of the way. In some situations, you might use a ladder this way if you don't need the bar. To bring the ladder to its stored position, we're going to take the front of the top step and pull it up, and the rest of the ladder will follow. And to carry the ladder, just reach over and grab this tube, and then off you are to the next job. To bring the safety step to its usable position, we'll just reverse the process. Always make sure that all four feet are planted on a firm, level position. And to bring this bar up into place, always make sure that the hinges are completely locked. A couple of important points here. Always make sure that the hinge and the bar are folded out of the way both when you're folding and unfolding the ladder. If you don't do it in this process, you could potentially damage part of the hinge mechanism. You'll notice that at the top, fully usable tool tray to put loose screws, tools, a couple of hooks on the left and the right to hang buckets, and wheels for transportation. The bar will act as a handle so that you can roll your safety step off to your next job. A couple of quick reminders here. Always choose the right ladder for the job, set it up correctly, and maintain three points of contact when you're climbing both up and down your ladder.